Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you my favorite shortcuts in Android Studio. So unless you totally don't value your own time, watch this video till the end, because these shortcuts will save you a lot of time in the long run. Of course it takes a bit of time to get used to these, but once you are used to these, they will pay you back a lot of time. Theoretically you can create shortcuts for anything in Android Studio in the settings, but I don't do that for things I just don't need that often. If there is something I need maybe once or twice a day, then it doesn't make sense to create a shortcut for that in my opinion. For example, I'm opening this Git tab. It's just faster to click it if you if you just need it um, very few times a day instead of actually trying to remember that shortcut. But there are a lot of things you actually need to do hundreds of times each day. And for these, if you create a shortcut and get used to that, it will save you so much time. As a last note, before I jump into the first shortcut, I will leave out obvious ones. So, as a developer, you should know Control C, Control X, Control Z, and stuff like that. Control F to find something. So, I will I will talk about some shortcuts that not every developer will know. So, I'm just here in my social network project that I work on on Twitch. By the way, if you don't follow me there, check the link down below. I have regular live streams, and just to demonstrate that here. Um, uh, the, the shortcuts that I actually want to show you. The first major section of shortcuts I want to show you are all um, regarding the carrot. So this thing where we actually write something. Getting used to these shortcuts will allow you to uh, much easier manipulate lines, select strings, select um, specific sections of a line and um, in the end just move this carrot. And of course that's something you always need to do and using your mouse to click something um, where we actually want to be is usually a little bit slower than that. So the first shortcut I always use is just control plus left and right. This will just move the carrot to the left by every whole word. So you can much easier navigate with that. Um, if you don't use control then of course it just um, takes every single character but with control it will just jump over whole words and that is, that is much much easier to actually um, move it to a place where we actually want to type something or where we want to select something. So let's say you actually want to select this Hilt View Model text here. Um, instead of actually doing this and then doing something with that selection, you can also just do this. That's much faster. So let's, let's see what I did. Um, I basically just click Control once, Control twice because these parentheses aren't a word. And when the carrot is here, I also press shift and then left. Because if you combine control and shift and then the, the left or right arrow, it will simply select the word. If you just press shift, then it will just select a single character, which is also very helpful. So if we just want to select this model text, we can also do that much faster as with our mouse. And then another shortcut that I regularly use, um, that usually every keyboard has, and that is, isn't even related to control or shift, that is just this um, position 1 and end key. That is on my keyboard on the right side. Um, so if we press that, we just get to the start of the line. So if we press position 1, if we press end, we get to the end of the line. That is also very handy. If you want to combine this with the other shortcuts, you could create one that actually, if you, if you press um, maybe shift and position 1, that you actually also select the whole line. I don't think this is included by default. I think I created this on my own. But yeah, feel free to do that in the settings. And the awesome thing about these shortcuts is um, those are actually general shortcuts. So they're not related to JetBrains IDEs. You can use them in any text field, at least on Windows. I don't know if it's also on uh, Mac OS or Linux. But on Windows you can use these navigation shortcuts here. Um, in every text field, in your browser URL text field, in, in any Windows-based text field. So getting used to these not only makes your development faster, it also makes makes any text interaction on your computer a lot faster. The next section will be about um, the editor navigation. I don't have too many shortcuts here, but you can surely also extend these if you like to use that. Um, but one that I really like is actually Alt plus um, left or right to actually switch these tabs here on the top without needing to click there. Um, it's just a lot faster if you get used to that. And if you want to clean that up without using your mouse, you can also do that with Control F4. So then you can simply close specific tabs without needing to move the mouse 
to the X. So next up, I will show you some uh, code shortcuts, how you can actually, um, yeah, if you're writing some code, if you can, how you can do that faster. One shortcut I use so often is just Control Y, and that is just to delete a line without needing to select anything, just deleting the single line. Oops. And here you can actually do the same with Control C and Control X. I said I'm not going to mention the shortcut um, because you should know that you can copy this uh, this return statement here with Control C if it's actually selected, and you can cut it with Control X. But what not so many people know, um, in, in JetPoints IDEs, you don't need to select this. You can just press Control X and it will automatically cut the whole line. Then you can paste it down below. Or you say Control C without selecting it and it will automatically copy that line. So that is something I also use all the time because it's super helpful and you don't always need to select the whole line if you want to copy or move something. And when I'm already at moving stuff, there is also a very cool shortcut that will help you to, to swap lines. So let's say we want to move that return statement up. We can press Control Shift and then up. So it will move that up, not by one line, but by one expression. So it's actually a, a smart shortcut. If you want it above our if statement, we can also do that. So it's a very cool way to actually move lines without um, actually needing to select that, cutting it, going above here, pasting it. So it's, it's a lot faster. And a shortcut that I actually always use is when I want to delete the whole contents of this file, that is also universal shortcut, so not only JetBrain specific, then um, this might some people know already, um, but it's basically just Control A to select everything and then backspace. So that is what I do when I want to delete the contents of a whole file. Um, it's not a very special or unknown shortcut, I think, but for those who don't know it, it's actually a huge save in time, because if you don't know that, you need to do <laughs> this. And you definitely don't want to do that every single time you want to delete the contents of a file. And as the last section here for the shortcuts, um, I have quick searching and replacing. Those are also ones I, I really like, because they they save you a lot of time. Um, usually when we search something, then we take a look in our project hierarchy and yeah, okay, maybe that's in the domain layer, presentation or whatever. Um, and we don't really use a shortcut for that, but there are super helpful shortcuts out there. So let's say we're in here and all we want to do is we want to navigate to, let's say, the profile screen here. And instead of going to presentation, oh, hmm, so many packages, where could this be? Edit profile, hmm, profile, here it is. Instead of that, if we're in this file, we can just hit double shift, write profile, screen maybe, and there it is. So that's actually not the class I wanted to be in, but it's, uh, if you read that longer, <laughs> then you will find this profile screen. And this is so much faster if you just directly use that quick search using double shift and then you can also filter by files, classes, symbols and stuff like that or you just leave it at all and you can find edit profile here the not that again edit profile screen this one of course and yeah you can actually navigate a lot faster with that then another very helpful shortcut to actually find a specific string a specific text in any of your files so this this method here with double shift doesn't find that so if we search for this banner image here, then uh, it won't find that. Instead, what you need to do to, to search for specific strings in all files is Control shift f So now you can search for banner image and it will give you all the files that contain that string banner image. That's also very cool if you don't know um, which file you're using but you know some kind of content that in, that is in that file. And then you can just search for that content and you easily find the file. And of course the, the same thing works if you just press Ctrl F, then you can also search but only in this specific file. This is something you should already know. And one last shortcut I use is um, search and replace. So let's say you want to replace all the modifier text here with something else. Um, doesn't make any sense here but just that you get the idea. We can press Ctrl R, we can search for something which is a modifier here and we can replace it, for example, with Philip, click replace all, and boom, now wherever we had modifier, we have now Philip. 
And that is now for this specific file. If you want to do that for your whole project, you can again combine that with Shift, so Control Shift R, and then you will replace banner image in your whole project with Philip. That is it from my side for these shortcuts. My recommendation is just looking through the settings here, uh, Control Alt S to open the settings, um, and going to Key Map. Here you have every single action that that uh, Android Studio offers and you can assign shortcuts to these. You see the currently assigned shortcut in yellow here and if there is none then you can assign an own one if you want to have that. And just taking a look here what's interesting for you and if there's something you use on a regular basis then it totally makes sense creating a shortcut for that. So imagine you you just use shortcuts for for just a hundred actions a day in total and each of these actions saves you five seconds, then that is 500 seconds a day, which is approximately eight minutes a day. You don't just work a single day, you work like five or six days a week. Um, imagine how this adds up, that is that is almost an hour a week you save just by getting used to shortcuts. It's, it's crazy. And that, yeah, just um, calculate how much that is in a year. So this video might have saved you so many hours of your life, I would also be very happy to hear your favorite shortcuts if I didn't mention some here. Just put them down in the comments and also if you're actually looking to see some written content by me, so about architecture, about Kotlin, about Android, then just check the link down below. You can subscribe to my free email newsletter and you will just receive one yeah, kind of article each week right into your inbox with which you can easily learn more Android concepts. Apart from that, Thanks for watching this far and I wish you another happy day and see you in the next video.